Okay, so I wanted to show the water attachment for the TS760 saw because there's no real part number that exists for these. You can still see the exploded parts view with every little single piece. And all that really comes up when you search for such a water kit is um, the one for the later saws. So this one here is a Stens 635-400. Replaces that steel part number and it works just fine. The hose reaches, you have enough room to put the shroud all the way down, all the way back. And there is a secondary hole here because there is a variation of it where you can attach it both on one side, but I find like this works fine. And these here unscrew, it's just a nut and it allows you to slip the nozzle out. This here, I think this is a clean out. It's just a flathead screw and it comes out and it lets you poke something in there in case it gets all gummed up with uh, concrete dust. The only thing is this bracket right here. You need to order that bracket separately. I don't even know if they still make it anymore, but I've seen them pop up on eBay. That's where I got mine. And you must get the one that comes with the extended screws. And they only give you one extended screw in the Stens kit. This here was the part number. And it's also inscribed right there. So you will need those longer screws. I believe they're like um, M5 or something like that. So if you don't have them, you can probably pick them up at a hardware store. This is the bracket that comes with it. And as you can see, no es bueno. Worst case, you can probably just make something out of sheet metal or zip tie it over here or something or the other. But like I said, just get that bracket. You can find them online. Not that expensive. And then this goes on perfectly. You really want it here so that you can control the flow of water as you're cutting. The newer steel saws, it's all the way down here, which granted it's out of the way, but I find this to be a superior design. These quick connects here are just the Gardena type, nothing special. And of course, this here is basically an MS-076 chainsaw. This here is actually where the brake would go. I thought there, there would be some kind of a handle, but that's not the case. And it's an extremely large and extremely powerful saw. I think you can put up to a 16-inch blade on these. Right now we have a 14-inch. So there you go. If you're wondering about a water attachment kit, you can use this one, you just gotta get that bracket.